Okay, hello again everybody and welcome back to Wushu Richard TV. I want to say hello to uh, Rick, okay. Rick, um, you made another video, okay, recently and uh, you were talking about um, Dam. So you weren't talking about Dam, but you were talking about basically Tai Chi again and your experiences in Tai Chi. It was your second talk, okay, on the journey you're taking, learning Tai Chi and the uh, Tai Chi ball. I want to say uh, the um, sort of qigong, qigong right. I want to say first of all, okay, thank you very much, Rick, for being so awesome always. And also, I want to say thank you very much for uh, mentioning me and supporting me too, and that, letting people know about me. Thank you. Um, it's funny because you know I'm not really a tai chi master. You know, what I'm, I'm not a ta- really. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really a tai chi master or expert. Okay, I just know what I know. I've taken the whole meaning of Tai Chi, the whole structure, and train well, and, and some basics. I did train, you know, as I said, a form in the past, one of the forms. But what I'm trying to say is I've, I've studied Tai Chi in some great detail, but more so is the meaning of it, okay? What I want to say is um, I practice mainly Wing Chun Kung Fu, as you know, Wing Chun, okay? And it's all my way again, but you know, it's, I've been studying Wing Chun in depth all these years and I feel right now you know, it's my main style it absolutely is Wing Chun I practice the long fist wushu uh, forms and some of these wushu forms and freestyle like kung fu flows and kicks and animal techniques and basic as I say the kickboxing muay thai kind of stuff karate whatever you've seen in Mantis I would put in that all into my training now and again because I train to be very flexible and I like to practice the wushu forms as I say still and teach that to people whenever I can. But what I'm, it's, it's all helped me, and as I say, that's also helped me for my balance too. The wing, the uh, long fist forms. Um, it's again, it's like a Chinese kind of art. I feel it's of the body, like you were saying, like you were saying, like the deepness and the balance of the whole connection of your core and your whole body. Even though the wushu, wushu like long fist wushu forms, are like very exaggerated and very flashy and big movements, spinning all over the place, punching, kicking. Is um, still different to like a karate or you know taekwondo. That is, I'm saying it's uh, Muay Thai, MMA, whatever. It's the Chinese like wushu forms are again very still linked. Like I can feel connection between them and Tai Chi, where they are very like rooted with the core, the whole base. And with a form like that, you might like wonder why do I practice like the wushu long fist forms and wushu moves now and again? Why do I do that? You know, because I even can see myself that it's not really effective, very effective, you know, to fight. It could be, but it's not, you know, very effective for the best fighting methods. It's just like a form. But the thing is, like, it is, you know, it, it's a great training for balance because you're doing these big movements, big stances. Jumping, kicking, spinning, big exaggerated moves, spinning around, landing, you know, on one foot, landing you know, in a stance, you know, be much very flexible and fast and powerful and focused. There's some kind of like spirit in your mind and in your heart, bang it out, you know. And it's like the breath in there and all the focus, you can do it slow, you can do it fast. But you see what I'm saying, yeah? That takes a great deal of training too. You see what I'm saying? If you train Tai Chi and Long Fist Wushu, you'll be very, very, uh, you know, what are these, like uh, Shaolin and Wushu forms, you will be, uh, even, you'll be very good. I mean, you see some of these people like in the Wu Dang, let's say, not Wu Tang Clan, but, you know, Wu, Wu Dang, you know, you see these people training there. Not only Shaolin, but also Wu Dang. You see the people when they do like Tai Chi, okay. It's not funny because, like, people in, people in, like, um, Shaolin, the monks, they learn, they do do forms of Tai Chi. Wu Dang is usually uh, famous for the in, in the Wu Dang Mountain is, is uh, famous for the um, internal arts more so like Tai Chi, okay, and Bagua. But the thing is, you will see them doing forms there. You have some sword forms and stuff, and even like uh, methods of kung fu which are very flowing. And there's some methods which have like very low stances or very like flexible, exaggerated movements. They're almost like a long fist wushu. You see, some of these Tai Chi forms are done so small and so ugly looking, okay? But they're very powerful. And sometimes you see old people, old people again doing it for health. But some people do it like, there are big, bigger movements and faster movements. They're fast, slow, small, big, hard, soft, all blended in. And basically what I'm trying to say, these kind of like Chinese traditional arts, I'm a big fan of, so you know what I mean, I really am. 
Wing Chun's something phenomenal, ph- phenomenon to me. It's amazing, phenomenal. Okay, I love Wing Chun. It's my main star. I say Hong Ga is another star which is fantastic. As I say, it really, really, um, it really is. Okay, because Hong Hong Ga, I say or Hong Chun, it's called in Mandarin Chinese. It's another fantastic one. All that the Shaolin animal, you know, kung fu styles. But for me, Wing Chun's good enough. And then what I do is for the Tai Chi side, I blend in some of this, these Tai Chi combat moves. But what you're doing, okay, what you're doing is fantastic, okay? You're doing fantastic because, Rick, you're learning real, you know, um, Tai Chi and Qigong and sticking at it in the basics. Now, I did some great, I did some training in Qigong, different kind of Qigong, though. And I did some training in, uh, let's say, the Tai Chi forms in the past and practiced certain moves over and over again and explored myself, too, in my training. But what I'm trying to say is... There's so much to be found in Tai Chi, and I believe it is like it's a lesson of life. It, in some ways, it really is the grand ultimate, not the ultimate fist, but it's like the way. It's like the yin and yang, the whole embodiment of it all, the embodiment of yin and yang, as they say, balancing your life out, you know, uh, balancing your life out. You learn this, this balance of yourself, control of body and mind in such a relaxed way, yet the most powerful way. You see what I'm saying? You're not wasting your energy, but you're making everything work for you. And then what happens is your whole life starts to, you know, develop in this way. And it happens for you. Rather than you're working so hard your whole life trying to get it. And you just get nothing back but bullshit. Again, you could put this kind of talk back into your chat for like the karma you were talking about and study that. You know what I'm saying? So the yin yang, the yin and yang, you know, the, uh, these um, elements, this meaning of Tai Chi can be studied and employed as a philosophy into life, into any area. The, the mirrors and the reflections and all these, you know what I'm saying, yeah? That's another deep topic, right? Very interesting video you did too on the karma, by the way, um, Rick, okay? I want to also say, um, okay, about this, so you were asking me basically about your master or Sifu, Shifu or whatever, the lady who's teaching you, she sounds great, about how she was coiling her back then, connecting the whole root and putting this power into her palm, whatever, how she was slowing... Um, I, can't re- I can't remember exactly what you were asking me. It's so funny because now I'm sitting here trying to answer you here. But I remember you were talking about it and trying to explain that somewhat to you. Um, what it means. Basically, to me, it, that's what it really is. Okay? Tai Chi is like you just feel your whole body. It's not like you were saying. The, see, that's what people don't understand. Tai Chi is like, it's got hard and soft, but it's like... It's controlling the whole body, like you were saying, you rise and you sink as one. It's not like you rise and then sink your hands separate or one, you turn your hand to... Whether you're turning this way or turning that way, the whole, you know, or, or pushing or whatever, the whole or up or down. So you up, down, left, right, in, out, big, small. It's all flowing with your whole core, as I say, see, even the root from your legs and that. And no matter what position you're in later on, it doesn't matter what forms you're doing or whatever, it all blends into your way, your way of being able to fight, okay, and a self-defense art. So it becomes, from a, self, from a health art, it becomes a really powerful martial art. So what I'm trying to say, okay, to you is, people don't understand, they think it's all solid. Some people say that Tai Chi is different to other martial arts, like you said, you know, because it's not just a hand moving or a leg moving, it's your whole body as one. But still, it's flowing like water. It's on the root, you see. Like you may turn and it affects the change there in that position. So you can flow. It's not like to say... So it's still your arm moving. Maybe sometimes you will just move your arm, you see, your wrist or your hand. It's coming from your whole root. You see what I'm saying? Your core. But it's not like you're just like robotic like that. <laughs> you still have flowing... Of course you understand that, you know what I'm trying to say. So it just, that's all I can say to you. It's coming from your, so your core there... You know, and your breath, and your, and your spine, and your back, relaxed. You, when your hip turns, it turns, you know, your shoulder turns, your elbow turns, your wrist turns. And it all, it all pulls into place, it's like all f- one flowing thing. It's like a, you drop something into the water, and the water goes, and comes up again, and the ripples come out. But it's all coming from that one source in the middle of the water. It's the same when your whole body moves, it affects it. But it's like, you don't do the moves. That's when you're training. You're trying to feel the balance and the chi of yourself and the energy and the focus. So you understand the balance of mind, balance of body. But when you're training with a real person, or I should say, or when somebody's attacking you, it's the same when you're training this pushing hands and all of this, or when you're training, so you're feeling the enemies, the opponents, the person's energy and balance. You're learning to deal with forces of energy that are coming at you without having to 
fight against it in any way, and you're just controlling that energy. You're learning to deal with energy, moving forces of energy. You see what I'm saying? By, ch- by moving while not moving, if you understand what I'm saying, or not moving while moving. So it's like you don't need to move, you can stand there, and you hardly do anything to make a total control, a massive change of, you know, in that, a massive, uh, you know, I mean, you affect what that guy, you, by doing nothing almost, like you cause a total destruction of that person's attack, what he's doing, he loses his balance. But yet, it's not you doing nothing, right? You're still altering your position slightly. So a small, a small change in your movement can be a small movement, a, a small adaption of yours, a small movement you do causes a massive change in him. Uh, so that makes what you did a massive change. You see what I'm saying? Or then again, you might alter someone in such a slight way that they are not able to hurt you, and then again, that's a massive success for you. So basically, it's about life again. So it's just your whole bodily route. So basically, bro, great video, okay? Rick, thank you so much for sharing always. You're so awesome. I would like to answer more questions for you anytime, okay? Keep it real, yo. Uh, so the Wing Chun, is, that's what I do mainly, as I say, and I blend that in with some Tai Chi. I'd love to share some more training tips and stuff, and share my training and the sticky hand methods with some students and people in videos and show you what we're doing too. Your videos blow me away too, Rick. The power you show in your videos. I just want to say that, okay? Train hard and stay safe. More videos to come from me.